Okay, so next let's bring uh, let's bring up our name background. Uh, we can change it back to one view because we don't need the other view anymore. So this one we will uh, accomplish with uh, with the mask. So let's let's bring up the mask uh, with the M and uh, make a keyframe for the mask path. So let's transform our mask uh, and. Let's transform our mask again. So it will make line first and then the mask will come down. So let's uh, start our name to animate in around here. Uh, we will do this with scale. Uh, that's the end position, the 100. And uh, let's make the start zero and go forward a couple of frames and let's make it 110. And then a couple of frames uh, forward again. And let's, uh, we want this to go under 100. So let's make it 98. And then we want it uh, to go uh, above 100 again like 102 and this will uh, give us this nice look we want our flame to animate in somewhere here so let's make a keyframe for the scale let's move that keyframe because that's our end keyframe and uh, let's another keyframe let's turn it off so they are not locked together and then uh, make this to zero let's type zero okay and uh, this will animate in uh, kind of stupid way to avoid this we have to move the anchor point of this so let's highlight our layer let hit a it will bring up the anchor point and then move it around okay so let's put the anchor point on the left of the layer but uh, because of this we have to reposition re it so let's position uh, it behind her okay that seems nice and, and it will animate in nicely like a, it blows up behind her or something like this okay so I did one thing more uh, when it comes in. Uh, I speed it up this layer. So it gives a little more of this kind of blow effect. So for this, let's enable time, enable time remapping. And uh, let's make a keyframe there. Uh, let's line it up with the other ones with the animation. And let's bring the start keyframe which is automatically generated to uh, here. So it will speed it up. Uh, and this way the, it stops, but if you hit F9, you select your keyframe and hit F9, it will make it easy and easy out keyframe. So let's go to the curves and let's uh, play around with it. So it won't stop, it keeps moving. So it just, animates him fast and then it slows down you can play around with these settings to your liking okay one thing to animate in the last thing this text okay we want to move it uh, in here so let's make a position keyframe let's move it to the side and let's uh, move it to the, the the layer to the side on the on the x axis and it moves and it animates in you can uh, 
give a couple of tests it's really uh, depends on you on your taste and I want the logo to reveal a little later so let's let's start the animation here so let's put the logo reveal uh, layer to the end a little to the end okay so we are actually done with the animation and uh, we also did the timing as well so we are almost done so let's uh, make new layer camera layer and then a new uh, null object that's new layer let's name it uh, dolly because it's a lot easier to move around the dolly than the camera so let's make it 3d the layer the dolly layer and uh, one thing as you see there is a, a a line which is not really nice so let's move in the our mask and uh, let's bring up our mask in on the flame and smoke layer and uh, and give it some feather so it will disappear the line so let's get back to our camera and dolly so our animation starts at uh, four seconds six so let's give uh, keyframes to the position and uh, to the rotations and with uh, you you can bring you key you can bring up all your layers uh, okay so background disappears so let's uh, make the reveal O2 a little longer so it will last till the end so let's go to the end of the composition and uh, let's set up our dolly our, to our likings uh, but don't forget to parent the camera to the dolly layer so it will uh, move around the camera as well if you move around the dolly that's very important Okay, so now we uh, added some attributes to the rotation and to the position and uh, basically we did what we wanted. We have a, a little camera movement. Okay, so a quick tip for the end. So if we, when our animation ends, we don't want to uh, cut but we want to go back to the original uh, clip let's uh, put our tutorial composition to a new composition it will make a new composition for us uh, let's make the composition settings a little longer so let's say about 15 seconds sounds good and let's bring our clip go to 406 because we know our animation starts there okay let's uh, shorten our clip to this saying uh, if you hold down alt and scroll you can uh, scale up your timeline or scale down okay let's put it into the end and as we see that's the same frame that we uh, freeze in an animation but uh, this it's not good this way so we have to enable time remapping on our tutorial uh, layer and let's say we want it to go back to the start in one second so let's make a keyframe and let's make the end keyframe to four seconds six and it will animate all the all back in time another quick tip if you want to make it a more professional little let's make a new uh, solid let's make it black let's make a uh, ellipse tool by double clicking it and let's feather our mask out okay and uh, to my likings I don't like it when in the bottom uh, the the edges are too black so I just adjust the the mask a little and it gives uh, a cooler look for all of it 
Okay, so thank you for uh, joining me. I hope it, uh, my tutorial helped and see you next time. Bye.